Got him now!
got to get you out of trouble, don't I? You old? I am. How'd it go with Baka? Well, we came to an understanding. He stayed dead, and I'd let him. Let's get back to Sammy's. Fuck it, it's your car. Bash it up all you want. Anyhow, like I was saying, can't even tell you how happy Pops is gonna be. And this shit with the Haitians has been weighing on him. Get them out of the way, things will calm down. We'll go back to how they should be. Been telling him for months we needed to do something like this, but Pops... The thing Lankin didn't understand, or maybe want to understand, is that for a man like Sammy, there's always gonna be more Haitians. Now, if there wasn't someone going after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was never going in. That's how Mankin ended up working for Sal Marcano. You were right about those Haitians being down by that old salt mine. They won't be bothering us again. It was a mistake sending you down there. I should handle my own business. This isn't any different than what I was doing before I left. You probably don't know this. But every night on the TV, right after the news, they show the names of all the boys killed over there in Vietnam. I'd be sitting in the kitchen eating my supper, watching that list scroll by, wondering if today is the day I finally see your name. But you never did. Nothing happened to me. There's only so much luck down the well. Sooner or later, Pull up that bucket, there's nothing in it. So, what are we gonna do about Marcano? Pay him his goddamn money one way or the other. Lottery gonna be enough to cover it? The lottery? <laughs> no. But Sal called a bit ago. Wants you to meet him up the country club. Says he's got something in the works. Square things up between us. The only black folk allowed in there are the help. Now, they may not like it, but they're not gonna say no to Sal Marcano. He says you get to come in, you get to come in. Fine. Always did want to see the inside of that place. 
You need to do whatever Sal asks, yeah? For all our sakes. Yes, sir. dear listener. Well, that was a much needed break because old Remy had to put a little more fuel on the fire today. <laughs> and thankfully, my producer, Gilbert. I uh, thank you, Gilbert. It's kind enough to bring me a full thermos of coffee from downtown zone. history. Just hits the spot. You all out there know what I'm talking about this year. Oh, and Nancy wants me to remind you that Taste of history is still filling orders for King Cakes for the upcoming Mardi Gras festivities. Now you tell her Remy sent you, and if you buy two, get one free. Can't beat that. So go on. No time instructing Now, this will be my first crew since my dad died last year. Dear listener, you know how important Mardi Gras was to him. God rest his soul, he was one of the crew of Knight's Founders. He was captain for more years than I can remember, and daddy was Rex. Back in 1932, for those of you whose memories go all the way back then. Oh, you know, I tell you, he'd spend weeks. Months. Mm. More than anything else, it was the tradition. The feeling of being part of something. Of this city that he loved so. My father believed that every man had his role to play, and every role contributed to the greater whole. Those reds over in Russia, even the ones here at home, they try to sell that as equality. <laughs> no, sir, there's always gonna be a king. And each king has his day. Oh. I'll tell you, that coffee sure is fine. On the next episode, you better believe we're gonna talk about this here story that President Johnson is considering a deal with the Russians scale back our nuclear program. And that, a lot more, right here, oh. Native Son. Treated in such a manner.
The fuck you doing up here? Help goes into the back. I'm, uh, I'm here to see Mr. Marcano. The name's Lincoln Clay. That a fact? I'll be goddamned. Mind your manners while you're in there, boy, or there'll be hell to pay you here. <laughs> Man, get a look at you. I bet those fucking gooks shit themselves when they saw you coming. Been a long time, Georgie. Oh, no shit has been a long time. I think the last time I saw you was that night over in the French ward, right before you shipped out. <laughs> Damn, but that wasn't a gas. Oh, I seem to remember me and Ellis running from the cops uh, and Danny ending up in the drunk tank. Hell, man, I bailed him out. Besides, so just worth it to knock the hell out of them cracker assholes. <laughs> Smoke? Sure. <laughs> oh, man. Sammy said Mr. Marcano wanted to see me. Mr. Marcano? Shit. Make him sound like a goddamn lawyer. You just call him Sal. Come on, he's in the back. <laughs> Sam. I should have wore something else. Hey, these squares have a problem with your threads. Take it up with my old man. He'll tell him to kiss his ass. <laughs> nice thing about having fuck you money. Olivia, I hate to cut this short, darling, but I've got a meeting coming up. Remy, a pleasure as always, sir. Two more glasses. <laughs> Lincoln, good to see you. This is Vito Scaletta. He's the one I've been telling you about. Come on, Lincoln, sit down. So you served in Vietnam, huh? Yes, sir. Sal tells me uh, you're on a few pieces of tin over there. Well, I served with some good men. Nothing I did would have happened without them. Army? Marines? Regular army at first, and then I was recruited to the 5th SFG. Special Forces. I told you it was something else. Now, not that anything's gonna go wrong, but just in case, goddamn, don't you want a man like that on your side? Well, if you're vouching for him, Sal, that's good enough for me. <laughs> Look, I got a couple things to take care of. Thanks for the drink. Christ, that guy's an asshole. <laughs> Fucking carpetbagger. Commission sent him down here from Empire Bay about 15 years back. He's been a pain in my goddamn ass ever since. Well, I guess you're wondering what this is all about. Yeah, Sammy didn't tell me too much. Twice a year, the feds take old money out of circulation and destroy it. Over the course of the next few days, that money's gonna be delivered here to the reserve in town. And you're gonna hit one of those shipments? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. We are gonna use that occasion to gain access to their vault. And then steal everything that ain't nailed down. <laughs> Should be six, seven million in there? Easy. <laughs> that's, that's pretty fucking ballsy. <laughs> it's a chance of a goddamn lifetime is what it is. Now, Vito's fronting a lot of the money for the job, and he got us the combination to the vault. Hey, you had a chance to see Danny? No, not yet. Oh, well, you will. We brought him and his old man in on this, and they're gonna need your help, so go see them. They ain't still in that same place. There's something else we gotta talk about. Now, it's safe to assume you know about the problem Sammy's been having. I took care of the Haitians. Once things settle down, money will start coming in again. You see that right there? That's what I'm talking about. You didn't sit around with your thumb jammed in your ass. You saw a problem, you went out and took care of it. God damn, I take that over money any day of the week. We pay our own way, debts and all, always have. Oh, hell, son, I know that. I wouldn't expect otherwise. But you know, even after we all evened up, you're still gonna be slopping around in the ass end of this city. Not much of a future in that. But maybe there's a different way forward, you understand? For all of us. What'd you have in mind? I want you to know I mean no disrespect when I say this. Sammy's a hell of a man, but he's not getting any younger. And I'm thinking it's time to make a change. Well, I don't think that Ellis is ready for that kind I'm of not experience. talking about Ellis. I'm talking about you. I want you to run the holler. <laughs> I can't do that. 
Well, look here, if you're worried about Sammy, don't you understand? Now, he's always been on the level with me. And this job we're talking about, there's more than enough for him to retire on. He took me in when I had nowhere else to go. Treated me like a son. I'm sorry, Mr. Marcano, I, I can't do that to him. Well, shit, son. I'd be lying if I didn't say I wasn't just a little disappointed. But I get it. You're loyal. Which is something that is scarce these days. Do you still want me to help with this thing we've been talking about? <laughs> you goddamn right I do! <laughs> and when it's all done, you all be more than square with me. You have my word. <laughs> what do you really want to hear? That we kidnap and torture anyone suspected of working with the VC? I'm trying to ascertain the level of training that Lincoln Clay received during his time in Vietnam. Someone like that you don't need to train. You point them in the right direction and get the fuck out of their way. Stay cool. We'll get through this. Uh, <coughs> the game now. I say we keep looking. Oh, uh, this is a goddamn massacre. Uh, Shit. Uh, How about. Uh, 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 mama. Mama, I'm bleeding bad. Fuck yeah! The drill's through! Hot damn, Alice! What took you guys so long? Piece of shit drill kept overheating! You and Lincoln both still in one piece? Yeah, we good. Where's Danny? He's pushing everything off to the side so that we have room to catch the money. All right, well, once you square the way up here, we start driving it down. Well, make it quick! Motherfuckers killed the lights. Just worry about the money. I'll deal with this. Damn it, those guards will cut us down the second we make a break for it. Tell Danny he needs to get us out of here. And these bastards got us pinned down. Y'all need to figure something out. I got some TNT. I'll put on our side of the hole and detonate it. What the fuck is that gonna accomplish? With any luck, it'll blow a hole big enough for y'all to drop down. With any luck, Danny, do you even know what the fuck you're doing? Come on, it's dynamite. How complicated could it be? It's lit. Get the fuck away from the hole. Ha <laughs> 
trying. Data's leg is pinned. I need your help. No one really knows why Sal Marcano turned on Thomas Burke, uh, but he took Point Verdun from him and gave it to an enforcer named Roman the Butcher Barbieri, who promptly busted up one of Burke's legs. Now, Danny Burke was part of the heist crew. I mean, he was a gearhead, had never done anything like this before. But Thomas Burke insisted. He figured if the heist was a success, Sal would forgive him and return Point Verdun. Penetrator, all right. <laughs> hey, now I heard there ain't nothing sweeter than Vietnamese pussy. You tell me it's true. <laughs> Casanova Clay. Shit, man, it's so fucking good to see you. You too, Danny. That's Nikki. God, she wanted to be here, but I ain't remember how old it was. God damn, you piece of shit. Yeah, unfortunately. Come on, let's grab a beer. Wait for the old man to chill out, and then we can get down to it. Yeah. What's up, man? I already got it all set up and organized. All the girls gonna be there and everything, except we just gotta go in my cars, because we can't roll up in that beat-up piece of shit outside. <laughs> oh, you didn't just call my all-American machine a beater? I'm just saying, there better rides out there. Hey, bullshit there are. This car's a beast. I dropped the custom 358 and a four shipped out. That ain't the only thing you dropped in her. Maybe you should tell them about how you'd borrow it from Ellis and take the ladies <laughs> for a ride. Hell, man, leave me out of this. Wait, did you fuck in my car? Mm -hmm. nah, ain't no big deal. I was always wrapped up tight. <laughs> Besides, I already got one fucking bass in my life. I don't need another one. All right, you know what? You're going to clean it. Not just the back oh. seat. Every square inch. <laughs> I don't need to be riding around sitting in your shit. Hey, and you, funny man, you going to fucking help. Like the hell I am? Shit, I didn't get any. Yeah, well, it was just new. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, you fucking jokers got about as much chance of pulling this off as I do at winning a goddamn decathlon. Oh, all right, Dad, we hear you. <laughs> Danny and Ellis, you're gonna use the drills to cut a hole up through the bottom of the vault. You and Georgie, you'll be inside. You're gonna drop the money down, then get the hell out of there. That goddamn drill ain't easy to move, though. So we need a boat, to get it through the canals and into position. Well, Ellis and I worry about the boat. See, George's old man flipped the guard at the reserve, giving you his truck. <laughs> <laughs> Between that and the uniforms, and no one gonna give us a second look. <laughs> Come on, let's get moving. Still gotta swing by Skeletters and finish up some prep work. Hey, and you two assholes, don't think this gets you off the hook when it comes to my car. Y'all best get ready to clean it. I ain't cleaning shit. Hey, you cleaning it. My father was a lot of things, few of them good. But he started out smuggling moonshine, so he knew about the canals underneath the city, and that one of them went right under the Federal Reserve. It was his idea to use a boat to move the drill into position. He was a real son of a bitch, my father. More than anyone else, I blame him for what happened. You want to stick your own neck out, fine. But leave your son out of it. It's his fault Danny died.
None of this makes any sense. That, 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 that can't be how it happened. Everybody all right? That was the craziest fucking thing I've ever saw. <laughs> I'm glad we're breathing and all, but what the hell are we gonna do now? Uh, only option is to head up. Are you kidding me? There'll be cops all over the place. Well, with any luck, they'll be too busy dealing with Mardi Gras. Notice us. Let's go. Well, damn it, this ain't a gas. <laughs> Hey, you sure you need to grab that much of my ass? Oh, shut up and keep climbing, man. Okay, give me a hand. Come on, we got you. Alright, once we get out there, I hit a payphone. Calls you to ride. Can you walk? Yeah, somebody give me a hand. I can get one. Uh, it's probably just gonna be easier to carry a sorry ass. Hold up. Come here. Hey, hey! Don't put me the fuck down! If anybody asks, we say he's drunk. Y'all pick up that money. Let's go. Oh, god damn it. the phone right fucking now hey my time is just as precious as yours y'all keep an eye out we're some deep shit and need your help where are you just off the parade route danny's hurt
Sammy's having a call delivered. Mate. It'll be at the loading dock at the grocery store. God bless the old man. Let's go. Look out, sir. Hey, okay? careful. Hello? Hello? I'll deal with the cops. I'll no. warn them off you. Hey, no fucking way, man. It's all right. He ain't going alone. We all got a friend in Jesus. Amen. All right. Let's go.
Oh, sorry. Looks just like one of those postcards, doesn't it? Contact lost. Frisco Fields, bless him. But I don't know what's going through his head sometimes. Okay. Gotta be here somewhere. Let's just keep looking. Where's Georgie? We got separated. Before we lost sight of him, he said he'd meet us back at the house. Get in! Three five, suspicious person in the vehicle. Responding muted, investigated. Available. Here they come! Officers investigating. to get out of this. I'm sleeping on a bed of titties. I don't care what it fucking costs. They gone? Yeah, yeah, man. They done. I knew we could pull it off. I knew it. We're rich. Fuck. <laughs> I'm robbing people with a six gun. I fought the law. And the law can kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I fought the law and the law lost. <laughs> well, how much is it? A little over two million dollars <gasps> per split. <laughs> Holy mother God. Once everything's settled up, I'm calling the man I know, having him bring over three hookers. Boy, ain't All no right. hooker ever stepping foot in this house. You sure? Because two of them are for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be fucking in my new drifter. Well, I'd appreciate that. You know, my entire life, there's always been someone standing over me, telling me where I could go, what I could do, who I could be seen with. This. you boys did tonight. This changes everything. This isn't just money. It's freedom. Real freedom. There ain't no one standing over me again. <laughs> over any of us. Vouloir c'est pouvoir, eh? <laughs> well, well, well. Oh, man, man, look at that. <laughs> oh. And look at what I've dug up. You mind pouring one more of those? Holy <laughs> shit. It'll be my pleasure. Judgey told me ship went sideways during the robbery. Lincoln had to save your ass. You should be damn proud of that, boy. I am, Sal. More than you'll ever know. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, that is some down-home hooch right there, isn't it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Listen, I got a guy outside. Y'all mind if he comes in and packs up my cut? Not at all. Look at that. Let's see if you can handle this down-home hooch. Yeah, I'll give you some of that. Trying to get some corn whiskey? Make you a man. <laughs> they all the same. <laughs> hey, take the one on the end. It's your cut, plus what I owe you. Even put in a little extra for your trouble. Couldn't have pulled it off without you, Sammy. Y'all done right by me tonight. Mwah. Mwah. Why don't you get us something off the top shelf? We need to celebrate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you ain't got to tell
spy he woke up long enough to tell me to call John Donovan. So that's what I did. Most days I wish I'd never made that call. Mr. Donovan, do you know this individual? Sure. It's Sal Marcano. Mm -hmm. And how about this man? That's Sal's worthless piece of shit brother, Lou. Look. Enough with the dog and pony bullshit. What's your real question? That's the plan, Padre. It's a dangerous course you're contemplating. And what do you think we should do? Sal Marcano deserves to die. I won't argue otherwise. Kill him. But let that be the end of it. That's not enough! It's enough if you say it's enough. I know what Sal did to you, Lincoln, but nothing you do will bring any of them back. This isn't about bringing them back, or even exacting some street justice. It's about making that bastard feel what it's like to lose everything. Watch as I take it all away from him. one-way road, Lincoln. And once you start down it, there ain't no turning back. I'm going to Sammy's to get my stuff. You ready? I'll be waiting in the car. <laughs> <laughs> 